Hi, in this presentation, I would like to show you QNX Automotive solution using the bigger board on QNX operating system. Uh, QNX solution can be used on other platforms as well, such as uh, Green Hills Integrity, Wind River VX Works, Linux, and others. Uh, similarly, also it can be used on other CPUs as well, such as ARM, OMAP, Intel Atom, and Freescale. Now I will simulate three passengers in a vehicle using three mobile phones. One of the phones will use phone book access and headset hands-free profiles. The second phone will be used to stream music to the head unit using HTTP profile. And the last phone will be used to demonstrate displaying SMS messages on the console using message access profile. I will now turn on the Beagle board with Bluetooth dongle to start the demonstration. Uh, okay, let's start this presentation with the uh, Windows Lumia phone. Uh, here on the screen you can see the application, which is uh, a demo application for our uh, automotive solution. And on the left side you can see our uh, Clonex Blue Protocol Monitor. On this uh, window we will see all the uh, Bluetooth messages that actually uh, is transferred over the air. Okay, so on the main application window, let me go to uh, number three. Here I can actually select uh, the first phone, which is Lumia. Uh, I've already uh, paired all these phones uh, for the purpose of this them demonstration. So I'll try number one and uh, I will try to connect to uh, phone book access profile of this phone. So I will select number three. So we wait until the uh, phone responds, which it does now. So now we are connected to uh, phone book access profile on this Lumia phone. Uh, what we can do, as you can see on the screen, we can actually show the list of objects or show the details of objects. For instance, I can do show the details of objects, number three. Then we select the object type, let's say phone book. And, yep, now we can see uh, the list of all the phone book objects. Okay, so now let me go back number five and let me try the headset profile uh, on the same phone. So I'll uh, select number two. Then I'll try to connect to the headset profile on this phone, number one. And it's already connected. At this moment, uh, I try to uh, call uh, this phone. So we have to see that that call actually is coming to the. Yep, as you can see, we see on the screen that phone is ringing. So I what what I can do is I can actually simulate send uh, uh, sending a button to the audio gateway, which is the phone, by doing number four. At this moment, it's like I've answered the uh, phone. Okay, uh, I'll answer the call, sorry. So now I can go back to uh, the previous menu, number 7 and number 8. Now I'm going to try another phone. I'm going to try a Samsung Galaxy phone. So uh, I will try number 3, which is already paired, as you can see. And on the Galaxy, uh, I'm going to try message access profile. So using message access profile we can actually have access to all the SMS text uh, through uh, the Bluetooth technology. So I will try number four. Now we have to authorize the connection on the Samsung phone. Okay, now it's okay. Now, as you can see, now we have uh, different items on our menu for the message access profile. Uh, 
first us I will select one so we can see the list uh, list of all the folders in the root folder which we are now as you can see the folder the only folder is telecom so I'll try to change the folder to telecom okay now I can uh, let's see the folders inside telecom now it's called MSG so let me get into MSG now let's try again okay now we see all the folders of message access profile in here uh, like inbox outbox sent deleted draft uh, for instance let me get into draft folder again number four and I just put in draft enter draft uh, let's try again okay now I can actually select number two to get the list of all the messages text in this folder so I'll do number two as you can see there are two uh, messages inside this one S then I can actually see what the message is uh, using the number the item number three so if I do the message number three now I have to give the handle to that message as you can see uh, the big handle let me do that okay as you can see now this is the actual uh, details of that message inside the phone uh, actually as you can see the the message is actually just hello okay now uh, let's uh, disconnect from message access profile on this phone uh, let me get back to the list of phones now I'm gonna try a third phone which is iPhone 4s so I will select number two which is the phone uh, on this phone uh, I'm gonna try HTTP so uh, we the our application will be HTTP sync and the phone will be HTTP source it means that the phone will actually try to stream music to our application and then we can actually hear the app uh, hear the music through the speakers so I will select number five okay we wait until everything is alright okay and it seems that everything is alright now okay just oh, sorry okay okay now on the phone uh, we can just simply select play select play and now yeah it starts streaming so we can hear the music okay at the same time when the uh, music is streaming I'll try to go back and uh, try to go back to phone number one which is Lumia because if you remember we connected the phone book access profile to this phone and uh, we actually didn't con uh, disconnect so we're still connected we can go back and do uh, other phone book requests if you want so let's go back uh, I'll select the Lumia again and I'll select phone book access profile uh, this time I can do uh, item number one show the list of objects this one doesn't show the actual details of the objects just the list of objects so I select one then again let's select phone book yep as you can see on the screen we will see the list of all the uh, phone books which are which is actually the con contacts on this phone so these are all downloaded to our uh, application uh, on the let me uh, on the other hand let me show you the our debugger protocol monitor window as you can see in this one actually we can see all the messages 
which has been transferred between our application and these phones. As you can see, uh, we can even see the A2DP streaming here. Okay, so uh, as you can see that uh, Clarnix Automotive Solution is able to connect and utilize multiple Bluetooth devices uh, simultaneously at the same time. So the aim of uh, this demo was to show you that uh, uh, Clarnix Automotive Solution is able to do that. And uh, thanks for watching this presentation. Thank you.